take a quick moment with me. Hold the hand of the person to your right. It's gonna be all right. And then I want you to turn to them and look them in the eye. Don't be shy. The, look at the person to your right. And then I want you to tell them that you are ready to fight for them. We lead a progressive politics. We practice, we practice the politics of joy. And we practice inclusive politics. number one in the region, in the country, for volunteering. I see it everywhere that we go that we practice solidarity here in Minnesota. How many of you in this room are union members or know someone in a union? So I am a proud former AFSCME member. And I 
know that when my brothers and sisters and I went on strike, it was people who didn't know us that would come and would bring us gift cards so we could have money to feed our children, pay our gas, and keep up the spirit to continue fighting for our wages. in Minnesota, we are always fighting for someone we don't know. Because I know that in cold October, November, it was Minnesotans in Minneapolis that for 18 days occupied the 4th Precinct Jamar Clark was killed because they knew injustice had taken place and they were willing to stand there to fight for someone they didn't know, irregardless of whether he committed a crime or not. I also know that for a year-long campaign, to win for people to have the right to marry who they loved. <laughs> and defeat bigotry happened because all of you were willing to fight for someone you didn't know. Some people talk about no-go zones. But the truth is, the truth is we are an open, inclusive society. Because when a mosque was set ablaze in Cedar Riverside, their neighbors, Palmers, the pub next door, came to their aid. And I know some people would find that a little strange, that in a no-go zone, a mosque and a pub share a building. But that's what we do here in Minnesota. People talk a lot about the heartland. They don't think people who look like me represent the heartland. But I tell people all the time, that the heartland does not only welcome refugees, it sends them to Congress. the crack of dawn to sunset, that know what it means to live next door and uplift their immigrant neighbors who know what it means to work three jobs just to put food on the table. Here in the heartland, we are union strong. We believe love is love. And that immigrants 
get the job done. having politics that is accessible, accountable, and transparent. We hold our politicians to account. We understand that their track records matter. And here in the heartland, we know that when Bernie says he is fighting for us, that is true because he has always been fighting for us. tired of the political establishment and the political pundits that are constantly dismissing what people here in the heartland and across America are fighting for. I get sick and tired of hearing them call our progressive, bold ideas as radical. Here in Minnesota, we believe no child should show up to their classrooms starving. That we can't feed the brains of young children unless we first feed their bellies. We must implement universal school meals. So if they want to call that a radical idea, then sign us up. Here in Minnesota, we also believe that homeless camps should not be set up on the side of the roads for our indigenous brothers and sisters. that is a sound policy that needs to be implemented yesterday. If believing climate change is an existential threat to humanity and that we need a Green New Deal to address it,
Minnesota, we know whether you are a young person worried about our planet, you are a janitor cleaning buildings in downtown Minneapolis, you are a farmer that is working to make sure that you produce enough to be able to feed your children, or you are an immigrant looking to find the American dream here in the heartland, that our destinies are tied together, and that we cannot fight one form of hate while enabling another. Because you will sometimes hear political pundits compare our, popular, our populist movement to the movement that Trump is building. Now his is one that uses the anxieties that many of our communities are feeling to fuel hate and pit us against one another. And the movement we are building is one that unites all of us so that we can heal our country. Because we believe in radical love. We believe in radically fighting for someone you don't know. We believe in eradicating poverty. We believe in not allowing a child to go hungry. We believe the lives of people matter regardless of where they were born and regardless of what their religion is and regardless of what their ethnicity is. We believe that it is important for us to invest in having Medicare for all making sure that we are housing our people and that we are feeding our children, educating the next generation, and not using all of our resources to go bomb people in other countries. Sure. 